And I teach in Luzerne, and so sometimes we invite people for workshops. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is get the idea of all the great teachers for trombone technique, including breathing, which is a really, really uh, important aspect, and just put it on top of each other and, and see what are the differences and what are the similarities. And I have to say, in a way, everybody says the same. First, you have to stand right. So it's very important how you stand. I, I, sh I can show you what a lot of people do. One is this, or even ex more extreme, like this, you know, when you play. This is wrong. Uh, another thing, you should be loose in your knees, so here, and maybe a little bit more like to the front. Not, not like this, you know, not falling over, but just like this. So when you relax like this, and you can relax this part, you can inhale easily. Or a good, a good um, exercise is to pretend to be disappointed, you know. <sighs> then you can inhale easily because you relaxed here. <sighs> not this again. So. That's easy to, to inhale, and then when you play, you need, to, you need your, your muscles. That's the, that's the whole principle. I think the most important aspect in brass playing is breathing and the tonguing. That's, that's very important. And so if, if you have difficulties with uh, playing high notes, it's probably because of your tongue. Because uh, the thing is, to produce a high note, uh, you have to learn how to make the air fast. You know, uh, to make the air fast, you, you just... Uh, uh, lift your tongue and then if you take the same amount of, of air through a, a tube like that's th this big you know you have a, a low note and this big you have a like this you have a high note so you can there's also an, another exercise by Malte Boba where you where you uh, exercise where you where you train to use the vocals like I but I mean, I don't want to steal his show, you know, it's his <laughs> show, <laughs> so anyway, but, but that's, that's very important. I think, you know, if you have problems with a high register or tonguing or something, you should work on your tongue. Okay. And about f playing fast or like, yeah, getting all, all the technical aspects of a, of a jazz trombonist uh, together, what I worked a lot on is doodle tonguing and well, I'd, I'd practice the doodle tonguing the same way all the classical musicians uh, practice double tonguing, like just repeating notes and on, with scales and then taking away notes like you start like this. So if you can't do this, you have to work on one note first, you know, so to get the attack of the doodle. I'm exaggerating now, you know, but just to show you how, what the difference is. Instead of that's not enough, you know. You need, really need a good articulation with the doodle tonguing, otherwise it sounds like and you can't. Yeah, you know, it's anyway difficult on the trombone to really play precisely and make each note in a fast tempo audible. So anyway, that's that's very important. And then once you get that done, you work on less rep uh, note repetition, like maybe four. And then two notes. And one note. Something like that. <laughs>